Hello, Headhunting Housewives. This is Diane O'Brien again, your recruiter. I am excited to talk to you about these jobs that I have coming up in first quarter. I think I mentioned in the podcast previously that I had a company I was talking to and I was excited for you all, not just for myself for getting a, the new contract on a retainer, but they want to hire um, about 20 to 25 um, I can't say women because you know, obviously equal opportunity, but they're very open to work from home women and remote recruiters and even newbies that they, uh, that they can help train. So um, right now for any one of you out there and for that job, it would be right here in Philly, but I have other clients all the way out to the West Coast even that are more open than ever to hiring recruiters like that as well. If you've ever thought about recruiting, uh, now's the time to learn more. Jump into um, my site, Headhunting Housewives. You can join that for free. Just try to find more of my videos. I've been in this for many years. You can find some old videos on YouTube. I'll try to organize them that are there for you while we get this first quarter 2020 started. Um, but it's really an excellent career that I encourage you to really look more into. I have a book, Work From Home Headhunter. If reading is more your thing versus watching the videos or listening to podcasts, I'm just trying to get the word out so that um, more of you can experience this amazing career that I've had. I've been doing this for 20 years. Some of you may know it's been amazing for my family. I've raised my two girls. My youngest, Morgan, is getting ready to go to college next year. Madison's already in her second year of college. And, you know, I don't know anyone else other than other recruiters that have been able to have an awesome job they can do from home on their own terms. And I have it through my own business sales source. Um, but even when I started the first few years in corporate, I was able to do it from home. So it's all how you negotiate it and make six figures and hire teams in whatever industry you want. Or later I got to be a retained executive search recruiter, which I'm still doing now in my business sales source. But uh, I want to teach all of you about that because I don't know how much longer I'll keep recruiting. It always kind of calls me back. It does allow me to take off summers when I want or take off a whole quarter in the spring when I want. Um, you know, you really control your own desk and how you hire. And when you finish a hire, you don't have to take on another job order with that client if you don't want to. Um, it just seems to make them want you more when you do come back and hire again, when you do the job well. So it's just a really cool flexibility for us women out there that we want to put our families first. We want to be at home. We don't want to travel unless we want to. And uh, just really be free, you know, to really to kind of write your own script and how you want to live your life. And I've been really fortunate not going to do that the past 20 years. And the past, I guess, five or so, I've been helping women learn more about it too. Um, this kind of one offs, you know, one at a time. Uh, it's been difficult because I'm a full desk recruiter and I'm hiring all the time myself. So, um, but at this point for 2020, as I'm scaling back more and more, and luckily just getting better clients paying more for less of my time, I have the luxury of more time to teach more women about this job. So, um, not only do I have clients hiring women like you, so please come find me 